Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2nd generation so that's untethered. Untethered means that you don't have to jailbreak it every single time that you reboot. And so first step is to open up your browser and go to quickfreedom.com Quick Freedom is a program to jailbreak your iPod. Just click download now, save file and it will download. Alright, now that's opened up, just double click it, click OK, run, next, 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 install. It will install the program Quick Freedom. Quick Freedom is the first program to uh, to um, to make a untethered um, jailbreak. So click finish and it will launch Quick Freedom. Here, here it is. Uh, just click, uh, make sure your iPod is connected to your, to your computer and then you can just go ahead and click Jailbreak iPod. If iTunes comes up when you connect your iPod, just quit it. We don't need it for now. All right, so the first step is to install LibUSB. I already have it installed, but you almost probably don't. And it's just a driver, so go ahead and click Install LibUSB. It will be brought to a setup and you can download it. Then you had to quick uh, to exit quick freedom and then um, start it up again so that it uh, recognizes libusb. And you can do the same thing with the original 2.2.1 firmware. So you just downloaded it and then you have to browse for the file that you just downloaded. And then do the same thing, restart quick freedom and then it should check it. Then click the button next. All right. Um, yes, you want to install the installer app. Um, you can click here to change your boot logo. So if you want to change uh, what the picture is when you uh, restart your iPod, I like this one. And then go ahead and click create firmware. And what that will do is it will uh, mod your firmware that you chose in the previous step right here. And it will make it into the jailbroken iPod Touch firmware or operating system. And yeah, so I'll be right back after that's done. All right, so now that that's all done, um, what you have to do? Uh, yeah, so it's all done. So it it uh, modded the firmware or like the operating system of the Apple Touch. So the next step is click next. All right, so now what you have to do is put your iPod into GFU mode. Um, and it's just a mode of your iPod and you need to put it in that mode in order to uh, jailbreak it. So what you do is you is first you hold on both both buttons, both the power button and the home button at the same time for about 10 seconds and after that you uh, keep on holding the home button but you let, let go of the power button for another 10 seconds. So I'll just do that. Here it says it's connected to normal mode, we have to put it into GFU mode. Uh, if you need any help on that, there are some more instructions right here. Alright, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Just keep on holding it down if it doesn't work right away. All right, it worked. So yeah, then iTunes should probably pop up, and you can just click OK, that, and uh, just minimize some iTunes. All right, so it said it connected in DFU mode. If you can't see there. And so now you have to start the pre jailbreak. And once you click that, your iPod should turn white. Alright, now you just have to wait for a while. Should not take too long.
All right. So now that came up. Click OK again. And uh, all right. So back in Quick Freedom, it says iPod successfully put into pre-jailbreak mode. Now restore your custom firmware in iTunes. The file is located on your desktop. Click OK. All right. Just minimize Quick Freedom. You're actually gonna. You're not actually gonna need it anymore. So what you have to do now is you must um, hold down the shift key and at the same time you have to click um, click on the restore button and alright so I'm gonna try to do that with the camera in hand it's gonna be a little bit tricky alright so hold on shift wait first let me uh, open iTunes here alright so hold on shift, and you know that shift is working if uh, this thing right there changes. And when it, while you're holding on shift, click restore. Oops, wait, okay, let me put the camera down. Alright, so when you do that, this window should pop up right here. And you should navigate to your desktop. And then right here should be this custom firmware. And uh, Quick Freedom put it there. Alright, click open. And right now it's basically okay, first it's extracting the software. And then eventually it's going to delete everything on your iPod and replace it with the firmware, the custom firmware. And, uh, and then it'll be jailbroken. So. So yeah, it's, it's actually going to take a, quite a while, so I'll come back once that's done. Alright, so that just finished. And so now um, it erased everything on your iPod. So now you can set it up as a brand new iPod. That's fine. Name your iPod. Uh, my friend is Maze, so... Yep. And do whatever you want to do here. Um, this actually isn't his iTunes, this is my iTunes, so. I'm not going to sync anything right now. Alright, click don't send. Alright, so now your iPod Touch should look just like before. And so if you unlock it, uh, yeah, just click dismiss. It should have these two brand new apps right here. One of them is called Installer. You probably can't read that. The other one is called Cydia. Alright, so basically I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. Installer, it actually does not work anymore. And you might want to delete that. Because they stopped supporting it. Alright, Cydia is what everybody uses to install a bunch of themes and stuff. If you open Cydia, um, oh. sorry, let me just put in my password. Yeah, so if you open Cydia, uh, you can. That's basically where you um, install all your themes and like plugins and like tweaks for your iPod. So what you have to do is you, add, you have to add a source. Um, you have to add sources, and then the sources are like places where you get uh, these packages, or like package should be a theme or an app or whatever. And yeah, that's basically it. But I'll make another video of this stuff later. So yeah, that's uh, now your iPod is jailbroken, and so you can follow my the rest of my tutorials later and learn more about how to make your iPod Touch so much more cooler. So, yeah, that's it. Alright, bye.